Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training video. In today's video, we're going to be having a quick look at Heikanashi candles. I recorded a video probably about five years ago on Heikanashi and it's received thousands of views and virtually every single day I'd get at least one email from somebody asking me about Heikanashi candles. They're very, very popular, particularly in the Forex industry. Now, it doesn't matter what market you trade, whether you trade Forex, stocks or futures, um, it's, they're just as applicable. Whether you're a swing trader, a day trader, excuse the kookaburra in the background, screeching away there, <laughs> a lot of birds in my part of the world. Um, so it really doesn't matter what uh, type of trading you do. Or nor the time frame. So I'm going to just uh, show you a couple of ideas that I've got. And as I say on the bottom of the chart here, traders, just that one idea. You may already be an experienced trader, but the way I look at it, when I read a book or watch a video or listen to a CD or watch a DVD on trading, I'm always looking for just that one extra idea. How can I use that? How can I improve my trading? Now, one huge advantage about Hakanashi candles, they're fantastic for new traders. And so the more experienced traders I tend to find are really going for their tick, their range or their Renko. But for a new trader, and if you are new, you'll see in a moment the, the many benefits because they're, they're great at picking, picking entries and also exits. So as we get underway, let me get this uh, disclaimer up, otherwise I'll get in all sorts of trouble. There is a risk in trading. Please don't trade with the rent money. Make sure that you use the simulator and that's one great thing about trading today virtually every platform allows you to trade in sim before you go live and so what i and just on that point what i say to all traders you really need to execute flawlessly now i'm talking about winning winning trades in a row but you need to execute flawlessly 100 trades in a row per setup you're going to trade before you go live flawlessly now, what, I, what do I mean by flawlessly? That is where you follow your trading rules. This is very, very important. Now, for my members that are, oh, sorry, actually, this is jumping ahead a little bit. So if you haven't already subscribed, um, please do to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can also visit my website and request uh, my free training manual and a very quick advertisement. Uh, for $197, you can become a full member I've now got over 300 training videos. There's PowerPoints, there's cheat sheets. Um, I give you full email support. And my, co my coaching program, which I have uh, literally nearly 100 members in it now, uh, I run eight live coaching sessions, a little bit extra per month, but it's still peanuts uh, to get the world's best coaching. I'm a researcher traders. As I say, you don't have to do any of this. This is what I do for my members. I'm giving my members the best there is each and every week. So end of advertisement. Let's move on. Now, for the members that are watching this video, this is actually video is for the general public, but nearly all my members watch these anyway. Uh, on, on the Excel spreadsheet, down at um, uh, number 49, or 47, sorry. So video 47, you'll find one of the original videos I recorded. Now, don't forget, members, when you're looking at the spreadsheet, very important, down the bottom, you'll see the tabs. OK, on day trading, live trading, the various markets that I've trade, etc. any webinars I've run. So very important. Go to the master list. OK, so you'll find it on the master list it will make it very easy. Reason uh, I bring this up, traders, is so many get lost looking for various videos. So don't give up. And, and also, members, I really recommend you take the time and watch the Q&A sessions. OK, there's a virtually every question I've ever been asked uh, by the public or by a trader is being covered in one of my Q&A sessions. Now, also, one quick thing before we get into this is I only just uploaded today a new uh, uh, indicator for Heikinashi for MT4. So simply go to the MT4 folder. Just to make it easy, and there it is actually there, Heikinashi there. But I've also uploaded, and let me just do these alphabetically for you, an ATR stop and flip. Was it the ATR or a parabolic? 
one or the other. So if it's uh, either a parabolic, uh, let me just find it. It's either a parabolic or an ATR stop and flip, which is very, very similar to the one that you see uh, they use my charts. And just one more thing here, let me just quickly cover this and then we're gonna get into the, where are we here, members only. Let me just do this. For the Ninja Trader 8 users, uh, what I want you to take notice of is Denzel and Trader Bougie have now provided their templates. And so my ATR, I've now had coded. So look at the JG indicators and the Trader Bougie and the Denzel. You'll be able to find my templates here for NT8 and their actual templates there and how they've set the charts up. You'll probably find that. Um, are very beneficial. So have a look at that. Okay, traders, let's now uh, get stuck into this PowerPoint. And what I'll do, you've seen my pretty face, you've seen enough of it. Of it. <laughs> Let me uh, turn it off as always, traders. My uh, recordings are raw, real and unedited. Okay, so if I fluff up anything on the way through, you'll have to forgive me. Now, let me just first of all say this. Um, there's a great movie uh, called What About Bob? I think it was filmed back in 1992. It stars Richard Dreyfus and Bill Murray. Um, Richard Dreyfus plays the role of a famous psychiatrist who's just written a book called Baby Steps. Now, what's incredible actually with movies is how much wisdom quite often is written into a movie. Now, his, this book he's just written is called Baby Steps. And he's sitting down with uh, Bill Murray, who's his patient. And actually, um, it's about a successful a movie itself. It's about a successful psychologist who loses his mind after his most de uh, a, a dependent patient, being Bill Murray, tracks him down at his holiday home while on vacation. Okay, And he hangs around with the family and eventually Richard gets locked up. But what he says in his book, and they talk about during the movie, is one day at a time, one tiny step at a time. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Now, that wisdom is so true when it comes to trading. That is, I tend to find for new traders that I coach, they can become extremely overwhelmed. So start with one setup, and likewise, I'm about to give you an alternative chart to use here, being Heikinashi charts, Focus on that. If you like it, focus on it. But be very careful you don't keep chopping and changing from range to Ranko to Heiken Arsh, et cetera, because they all have their benefits. Now, getting stuck into this, I believe that the most successful traders that I have and work with are those that have a compelling future. So here we've got, and many of you have already seen this before, that if you have a $5,000 account, you average 200 a day, within and every time you double that 5,000, you start trading another contract, within 16 weeks, you're earning $11,000 a week. Now, what if you to earn 300 a day as an average? You're basically earning 10,000 a week within nine weeks. And just one more, if you're averaging 400 a day net, that's 2,000 a week and when each time you receive or earn or, or uh, increase your account by 5,000, you start trading an additional contract. And of course, you can go right through to 100. Now, I know very, very few, by the way, traders that are trading 100 contracts at a time. It's very easy to say, look, wouldn't it be easy if you're already doing two to 400 a day? Why don't you do 100? Hey, it's, I'm, I'm 59. It doesn't suit my personality. Once again, there are old traders and there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders. Uh, if you go and look at Marty Swartz, he's one of the few that I know would trade like that. And he actually now is 75, he just trades options. But you know, you've got to, in the end, trade to your comfort level. So if you are really putting work in, you're up at 400 a day, which is only two 20 tick trades a day on CL, by the way. Let's just remember that. That's only two um, uh, $200 trades a day. You're up there within seven weeks. These are the possibilities when it comes to trading. Now, before you all get all skeptical and some of you say, you could never get there, I could never do that. Please listen to your self-talk. 
Many of you have heard me talk about the power of self. What we say to ourselves is either empowering or disempowering. We've got traders that are what we call, have what we call the fixed mindset. Then we've got traders that have what we call the growth mindset. The growth mindset traders that are always looking at improving themselves. How can I do this better? What can I learn from this? These are the traders that join the top 5%. My job as your trading coach is to get you to that 5%, to get you there. I've got to help you get to, or you've got to switch it, switch over into that growth mindset and move from what we call the fixed mindset. Now, if you've already blown your account a number of times, uh, many traders suffer from what we call learned helplessness. It's a little bit like you see a dog, you know, when it's been beaten, the poor thing, and it cows every time someone goes near it. Unfortunately, that is the reality of traders, of many traders that I deal with and other, tra other trainers and psychologists deal with. So I want you to have that. It doesn't mean you don't verify, by the way. You always go back and do your back testing, but you've got to have the growth mindset. Now, with what I'm about to show you, this is one of the challenges that faces so many traders. Their charts have got so many things on there that they can't process the information. And they suffer from what is called, and it's now being written up in the books, and it's called decision fatigue, where they become exhausted in looking at their charts. Now, one of the huge benefits of Heikinashi charts is you can really simplify your charts. Now, in the great book by the great um, late Mark Douglas, The Disciplined Trader, here's what he says, and I think it's about page 210. It's in the back end of the book. Becoming an expert at just one market behavior. What you want to do is become an expert at one particular pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency. To become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical. So I want you to look at this or listen to this so that you will be working with a visual representation of market behavior. Now, that is one of the huge benefits of dealing or working with, I should say, or using Heikinashi charts. It can be a trading system or methodology within itself. Now, this is um, part of an email that I received from Michael, one of my members, way back in uh, 2016. And just really talking about how he uses a Heikinashi. I'm about to show you his uh, a couple of screenshots that he sent through. And what he pointed out was that one, one online guru spoke of a momentum indicator after leading price. I've noticed that uh, Hakanashi being several candles ahead of the momentum indicator. Now, when we consider Hakanashi, what it's really what it really does, and it literally means average bar. So Hakanashi chart users will see most of the noise of a market removed and a much cleaner representation of price movement. Now, it's really averaging price over time, and it's very it, look, it's it's very different to Renko, but that's one of the benefits of Renko charts as well. But let's have a look at the charts that Michael sent in. Now, this is the ES233 tick. Now, with the 233 tick, uh, that's you're going to be using a 233 tick generally during the London session. Okay, during New York, and particularly today, the markets have been going crazy today. You've, you're going to be using a 550 or a 610 if you're using a tick chart. During the quieter hours of the market, you might use a 144 tick, but getting back to the chart itself, can't help myself giving advice there, is we can see here how jagged it is. Now, we then go to a Heikinashi chart here and look how smooth this is. And in principle, you're actually entering the chart on these breaks and you're staying in until you have a change in color. Okay, now you can, uh, exit earlier on a doji if you wish like you could get out there you could get out um, even there there now the point is though is note how it stays growing so you're staying in you're in you're in you're in you're out you're back in you're in you're in you're out 
Now you may end up getting in there, but there's ways that I'll show you how you can keep out of these false breaks. Now, what you can also do is start to draw in your trend lines and what we call micro trend lines. So see where you get this little retracement here, you can start drawing in so, um, your trend line. So it gives you a nice visual representation of what's happening in the market with the trend lines. But what you'll notice is you can pick up some real runners with these charts. Now, this is a screenshot on CL and this is just one. Um, now, I don't know what I said, uh, for 89 tick four, there's a spelling error there, you'll have to excuse it there. But this is the 144 tick um, uh, during the London session. And, and just in case you're wondering, I use an 89 tick for the Asian session. That's uh, uh, 6 p.m. onwards, Eastern Standard. As we roll into London, generally have to increase the time frame because the market's picking up. Then generally speaking, a 233 does mighty fine. Now, in a moment, when we go to the Heikinashi charts, just to keep it standard, you'll see I've just stayed with the 233. Now, once again, if you haven't subscribed, just before we go to the charts, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Even better still, um, become a member or visit my website site and get my, uh, I've got two eBooks that you can obtain, The Truth About Day Trading and my free training manual. So let's now have a look at the charts themselves. Okay, here we go. Now, what I've got traders, I've got three different versions of Heikinashi. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I've got, um, let's see, I've got uh, some that are what we call uh, uh, paint bars. Okay, and then under indicators, uh, I've got two over here as well. Now for my trade station, station users, uh, all of these are available uh, on my Google Drive. Okay, so you can download these. And by the way, members, um, for those that are just watching one of my videos, I've purchased, coded, uh, or um, uh, modeled hundreds of, of indicators. So I'm really showing you what I believe to be the best. And there are a lot of different versions, but the principle is fairly much the same. Now, this is live as we're looking at it. Um, this is a 233. Now, normally we are in the Globex session. So it's 13.23 uh, p.m. in my part of the world. It is 1.12, thereabouts, uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So normally speaking, actually, why don't we do it? We'd be dropping our time frame. So we're looking at oil by the way, we'd be dropping us down to an 89 tick right now. So let's have a look at an 89 tick using this version of a Hakanashi. So we'll just let this come up. Okay, so we can see here a lot more sideways action here. Now, very important, Travis, is that we use an entry chart, which is what this is, and we have an anchor chart as well, right? So we want to be taking our entries on our uh, entry chart in the direction of a trend on the anchor. But getting back to the real principle of this video, let me peg myself here, is we can see basically we had a retracement. We can see here that uh, this is a 200 EMA. I'm still in an uptrend. Here I've got a, another entry. I'm back in the market again. We can see where the market turns. So this will just give you one representation. Now, where it can become a trading system or strategy within itself is when you're trading with the trend, because here's an entry. There is a possible entry. However, that one is off divergence. Okay, so once you understand the principles of trading with the trend, you actually have a nice entry there. There are also other things that you can apply to keep you out of the false moves. One of them, will be, say, the ATR. So I'll apply uh, an ATR, a custom ATR I've got, and what it will do, it'll keep me out of some of these faults, says don't enter there, but I'm right all the way up to there. Here, I all the way in here, don't short there, stay in, stay in, now we get out. So there are various things. You can use a parabolic SAR, you can use um, an EMA, there's lots of things you can do to also support your trade decision. But in principle, we enter a trade down there. Now let's just say we get in on the high, which is uh, 56, and we keep that all the way up there to the close of that, which is 
56, 74. So what's that? 56, 66. Uh, that's 18 ticks. That's $180 in that move. Then we have another one there. Our stop, okay, will enter. And I should point that out. My apologies. Our stop would be one tick below the little swing low here. I now have another entry here. Now, this is a higher risk entry because you do have a little double top. If you wanted to be more conservative, when you have divergence, such as a little double top as a counter trend move, if you just want to really be sure, wait for a later signal. And this goes for no matter what sort of trading strategy you're trading. So we've now got an entry there. Uh, let's just say here we've got a high there. Let's just take the high of 78. We've got a low there of uh, 71. So we're gonna place an eight tick stop, an $80 stop there. Now we then, um, uh, what did I say that was there? That was a high of uh, 78. So we're in at 78. Uh, let's just take this low, 78 low of 93, 78. That's a, that's a $150 move right there. Now remember, we just spoke about uh, earning three to 400 a day. The, the, the minimum I'm really after is 200 per contract. But you can see the possibilities are really there if you're trading with the trend. It becomes a lot easier. So this is where we then combine using an anchor chart. Let me show you a couple of other examples of Heikinashi that I have. So we're looking here at a range bar. So you can actually apply them to range. Now with all the versions that I've got here, uh, they, I've got three Heikinashi versions. They will not work on Renko charts. Okay, so no problems with range, tick, volume, time, but they won't work on Renko. Now, in principle, we look at a, a full range. Now, what does that mean? So uh, it means that each one of these, um, a range bar is four ticks in size, okay, which is $40. So we look at that there. We've got an entry. You've got a couple of different entries there you could have entered, but you're in there. Let's just take the high of that candle, high of 77. Uh, we're out there, 77, low of 91. That's 14. What's that? That's 70. That's 14 ticks if you didn't get out um, earlier. Now, let me just say what, let me give you a heads up. When you see yourself gapping away from the uh, trigger line here, like that, we call that a bubble they're a really good indication that you're about to get a change in market direction or a reversal. This is another type of Heikinashi chart. See how we've gapped away? So when you gap away, this can be a really powerful signal of a possible reversal. Let me show you a standard tick chart, by the way. See this here? I'm looking at a 233 tick. Let me just expand this one. This is a standard tick chart that I'd trade with, okay? I just want to give you a little tip here. When you see price gap away like this from EMAs or down here like this, you've got angulation and you've got a gap in a way that is a very, very powerful reversal signal. See that there? And particularly when you've got what we call an EMA bounce. Now, normally on that chart, I would also have my super scalper. Uh, which is that right here, which also would help identify these turning points, but it's not difficult, okay? But when you've got the, the principle I want to bring up, when you see that sort of price action, it's a really good indication you're going to have a turning point. So as you can see there, traders, and let me expand this out for you. You can use range, which will smooth it out. And we're after these moves here, traders, okay? That's what we're after, we're after these. Now, what are some of the signs that we may be heading into a period of consolidation? Now, it doesn't really matter what moving averages or EMAs you use as a moving average. When you start to see your moving averages start to all level out, and particularly like here, around a floor pivot. Okay, so when you start to see that in your EMAs, you're generally going into a period of consolidation. If you're using a long-term MACD, this is just one of the MACDs we, we use. When you start to see a MACD dropping down, when you start to see a long-term stochastic dropping down, there's a number of indications that you may be heading into 
a period of consolidation. But I want you to welcome consolidation at the same time because nearly always, 90% of the time after a period of consolidation, we have what? A great breakout or a great move thereafter. Now, this is during the globe accession. Let's just go back to New York. So what we're looking at here is the New York session. And we can see here some beautiful moves here. Now, another thing that we're looking at, a change in possible direction is note here. Now we're making lower highs and lower lows. Okay, so that's a, a sign. This is what we're after. So we look at our anchor chart. So combined with our anchor chart, we're looking for these strong trends. So traders, using Heiken Ashi, there's some, there's some real benefits there. They're great for um, uh, picking entries, uh, turning points in the market, and reversals. As, with, uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you're fairly new to trading, uh, really focus on it for a while and practice with it because it, I, I really like them for, for uh, newer traders. Uh, if, you're, if you've been struggling with your trading, that may be an option for you. Another way is to use your standard, like we've got what we call the um, 34B or the 2B, some of our traditional setups that I've got uh, at I'm a Day Trader. We can then use those entries, but then use Heiken Ashi candles for the runners. So you pick up those longer or larger runners. So traders, thank you very much. And I certainly hope you picked up that set at least one idea. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.